looking at question 11 from chapter 1, it gives me the birthdays of each different day of the week. And it says I want to use a bar graph, label it well, and could I make a pie graph for that? And uh, so I'm going to pause this and drop the bar graph to, to be a little more expedited. So there is a bar graph. And notice that since these dates in here were kind of difficult to, they're kind of difficult to see the difference in because they're so close to each other. And we have the imperfection of me hand drawing. And that's okay, but I've labeled my axes. I put scales on here, so there's numerical down here. They're categorical. Uh, down here. So these are quantitative values that tell me how many people were born on Sunday and Monday and Tuesday. A bar graph is, is fine. A pie chart would also be fine because these do represent all the days of the week so they add up to all the options uh, that we have. And then it says suggest some possible reasons why uh, the weekend doesn't have as many and of course we're not doctors and and maybe you have some inside knowledge to it and maybe you're just speculating uh, that's okay we're just thinking about the data and being a little bit amazed that Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday are virtually the same Sunday and Saturday are way less and then Monday and Friday are a little bit down too I suspect it has something to do with doctors not wanting to work on the weekends so let's go ahead and schedule these dudes midweek if they're going to be induced or c-sections or something of the sort there's also an idea maybe jobs uh, are more stressful maybe moms want to get off of work and so they have the baby in the middle of the week don't want to you know, disrupt the weekend by having a baby who knows a bunch of crazy ideas but clearly something interesting is happening saturday and sunday why do we have so far fewer births on those days